Hello and welcome to Reseberg Studios. Johnson, and I'm going to show you my caricature sketch process. And I began by selecting my subject, of course, which here is Jason Williams. He is a fellow artist, illustrator, I would say cartoonist mainly. He's also a graphic designer. And I asked him if he'd be willing to do a caricature swap. So I would do one of him and he would do one of me. So as you can see here, I've picked multiple different photos to use as sources and I just begin to sketch each of them one by one and by the time I do about four or five different sketches of my subject by the time I get to the fourth or fifth one I got a pretty good idea about what features I want to uh, be more prominent what features I feel like make up this person's um, personality or look or uh, what really captures their essence I feel. So here I believe this is probably the fourth one. I don't know if I've been keeping count but it's at this point in my sketching that I feel it's really coming together. I'm really liking this this image of Jason here and this is the one that I chose to go with uh, chose to focus on the sketch and take it to the next level um, to painting. Uh, oh, looks like I did actually do an extra one here. Um, this was, uh, uh, maybe I just get that point going, I really like that last one, but let me, let me try another pose just to make sure I'm understanding um, the features in, in a sculptural way. And so getting a side view of Jason's nose here and the side of his head, I really get an understanding of the proportions of what, what makes his um, geometric structures of his face um, him. And so um, here I did a couple more. I didn't realize I did these many extra, but I went back and selected the ones that were I felt like were working and just took them a little bit further. As you can see, I picked four and I um, finally settled on this one. <laughs> like this is the one I'm gonna go with. And so you see here, I'm cleaning up the line work. I'm uh, using a pencil technique. This is, I did this in Photoshop. And um, actually correction, I did this one on Procreate here um, using one of their basic pencil tools, sketch tools. And I, at this time, when I had started using Procreate, I didn't realize I could split my screen and have my photo sources from my Photos app on one side and then my Procreate drawing application open on the other side. So this was before I learned how to do that trick. And so I would actually just kind of cut cut and paste uh, the images, the source images, and put it right into my Procreate file with me. And um, it's, it's not the best way to work, but actually it turned out fine for this video because you can see very easily what the source photos were that I was using and how I often use more than one source to really um, define the person's face, especially when I'm going into much more detail. I feel like then I either need really um, clear uh, photographs with very clear detail uh, to, to finally get the type of detailing that I personally like to get in my work. So here I'm deciding on the coloring and you can tell in the background of this piece I did more of a watercolor-y um, type of brush and, and sometimes just even using the the standard circle brush with a lowered opacity works great like a, a big watercolor brush and can work really fast too if you're wanting to uh, work very quickly to begin with and that's how I do start. I start coloring in very quickly and putting in um, the basic tones of each area and then I start building in the, the darker um, shadows and darker features 
And so I'm kind of going back and forth between sketching and painting. And then once I feel I'm really happy with the colors, I'm happy with the general lighting of my piece, of, of my paint sculpture, if you will, this is where I begin doing a, even a little bit more sculptural work. I may go in and blend some of the brush strokes a little better, um, clearing them up so they let, look less. Like his shirt here looks a little marker, like I did it in a marker um, brush, which I might have. I, I can't remember at this time when I did it. Um, but I go back in and I'm I model the form even more. Right now you can tell I'm putting in a little bit more of the whiskers of his beard and making it darker in places where I see more shadow. And um, just really cleaning it up at this point. I'm really liking the um, caricature, the facial expression I have for Jason right now. And really at this point I'm spending just a lot more time on the details because that really makes the image pop. This is a lot more detail than you would ever get at somebody, a caricature artist working at a fair or a festival. They're doing very, very quick, usually just charcoal or maybe one color marker sketch while somebody sits for them. And I really like to do this more painting process. It takes more time. It's more portrait-like. It's closer to my background. And then use these as editorial illustrations or people can commission me to do these for uh, for gifts even. All right well thank you for watching and if you'd like to see more of these video tutorials please subscribe to my Patreon page at patreon.com slash Risa Bird. Risa Bird Studios. I'm Teresa Johnson, artist illustrator, and thank you for being here for this character sketch tutorial.